Welcome to the Switzers Museum. Hi there, I'm Mari Dixon. Um, I'm the chairperson of the Switzers Museum in Waikaya. We're very, very proud of our build, which we finished, and we opened on the 7th of December. Um, it's been a community effort right from the beginning, right from the word go. The project started probably in 1988, if you, you know, want to be honest with yourself. We um, were given the old hall that was on the site that um, the Southern District Council had no use for. Um, and um, we weren't allowed to use it, but we could use the back rooms. The museum, right up until the rebuild, was the back part of the old hall that was originally here. It served its purpose, but it was getting to the stage where um, uh, Joe Massey, who's the roving museum officer, used to say to us, it's cold, but it's consistently cold. <laughs> when I first came here, it was my first job when I started. Jim Geddes, my professional support in Gore, he said to go out to Waikai as they were doing a redevelopment. So I uh, came out here and there was a, a lot of uh, wooden buildings joined together. There was no insulation so it was five degrees on the inside. You know, we should probably investigate a rebuild but it was a very long process. You know, like we actually back in 1988 we just used to raise money just to pay our power bill and all these other things. Um, but then we started accruing this money and sort of thought, well, what do we do with it? So by the time we decided we were going to rebuild and we had $164,000 of our own that we thought, well, you know, we'll give this a shot. And we secured money from the Lotteries Grants Board and um, we were on our way really because, you know, we had so many hoops to jump through to get their money that all the other funders knew that we were serious. And then Community Trust South came on board and the Southland District Council and the Southland Regional Heritage Trust came and we managed to get um, about 1.2 million that we used to build this building. And, and right from the beginning it was a community effort because before we even um, decided we were going to build or what kind of building. We actually had a public meeting to get everybody together and ask them what sort of stories do you think should be in this building? So they picked five stories that they thought were important stories for this district. The gold story and the Chinese obviously because Chinese had a really big part to play in Waikai. There was an awful lot of Chinese here during the gold mining. And then we've got the high country stories, and then we've got the war area or you know, military area, and we've got a room called the memories room. In that area, which is really interesting, the floor in there is the old floor from the old hall because we lifted it up and took it with us. We've got a lot of recycled things in here, and all the wall panelling is from the old hall as well. So we, we reused it in that room. So you sort of walk in there and it gives you the feel of what the old museum sort of might have been like, you know. The build has been an absolutely fabulous thing. It's been all community, right from the, the builder, um, the painters, the floor people were Gore, the cabinet maker was Riversdale, the glass guy was Invercargill, my electrician was even Riversdale. Um, I just love to stay local because it's just, it's their museum too now. We think that there was probably nearly $300,000 of donated labour and all the painting, oh, everything that was done here, interior stuff like that, apart from the carpet, we can't lay carpet, um, was all donated, all the painting, varnishing, everything like that. Um, all the images that are in here were done by um, Jim Marshall and Gore, another local guy, and Jackie Byers. She did all the graphic design work. Her and Chris Curry, who actually did the design for this. He did a wee model of what the place should look like and it actually is very true to how it is. But he unfortunately passed away on the 29th of December and he did get to be here. When it came to the interior, um, Joe and I sort of took over from there. It just, it all fell into place because Chris had done this wonderful model that we followed. It was just, it was easy. And wonderful team here. You know, the people that we um, worked with, Mari Dixon, who is not only the project overall project manager, but also um, covered the cases, great upholsterer, and Ray, Ray Dixon, um, welded 
case mounts. This was under the direction of Chris Curry, the designer, who you know, showed us exactly what he wanted, what colours, what surfaces. And then amazing, amazing group of volunteers that got together. Um, you'd say, oh, you know, we've got to bring that uh, cannon down from the hill next week. It's down from the hill, so. <laughs> and, you know, and just uh, an amazing ability to get things done. And, and happily and with a smile and yeah, so it's been a great project.